Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 750. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel Magic Trick 740 to 752, click on the link directly below the video and scroll down to the Excel Magic Trick section. Hey, uh, in this video, we want to see how to do a logical formula and conditional formatting for seven days past due, whether these are invoices or dates for some other purpose. Uh, we just want to see a formula for this. Now let's first think about the today function. Today function is great because it is dynamic. It'll always tell you what today is, and it's an argumentless function. You just put those two open parentheses, close parentheses. Wouldn't it be great if marriage could be like that? You could have an argumentless marriage. No, no. That's why Excel is so great. You can have argumentless functions. All right, so that shows us today. Oh, and then we can compare it. We can do date math. We're allowed to take, hey, this day minus this day. And the way it works is this is the later date. This is the earlier date. You subtract them, and it will tell us uh, no days past due. And look, when we copy this down, we can see right at this point, seven days ago, we have a seven. Now, whether or not you want this one uh, true, listed as true or um conditionally formatted or the one before or the one after is up to you. But I'm going to say uh, anything greater than 7 is uh, a true, which means it's past due. So then that would simply mean taking uh, whatever this result is and is that greater than 7, for example. Double click and send it down. Now, we don't want to spread out all of this like this for a logical formula and certainly not for conditional formatting, but we can put this all together. We can come here and say today minus this right here whenever that is greater than 7. Now, if you wanted to uh, put this in a cell, like right there, and lock it with the F2 key, that would be fine also. I'm going to come over here and put a 7, and then I'm going to put uh, day Tyrion. Right, that way I could change it, right? So if I double click and send this down, now I can change this to 5. See, right now, this date is true. All of these are past due. When I change that to 5, this updates. Now, this formula right here will work perfectly in conditional formatting. Notice this is a true, fa true a logical formula that delivers a true or false. I'm going to copy this, escape, highlight this whole range here, and the range that we're going to apply conditional formatting to, you got to build your logical true-false formula from the point of view of that cell. Well, we did that. That first one we just copied was as if it was uh, referring to this cell. So now I'm going to open up conditional formatting. Up here, conditional formatting, new rules. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt-O-D, Alt-O-D, new rule. Formula in earlier versions 2003 and before you got to click on that first text box and po point to formula is If I can remember right after all these years control V for our formula works just fine. I'm going to come here and format this Oh, I'm going to do font color light. I'm going to come over here to fill and say dark value color click OK click OK click OK. And so now we have our uh, formula. If this state just happened to, whoops, I have these as formulas. Right, I'm going to convert these formulas to values. I'm going to highlight the range and I'm going to right click the edge and drag away. See how I'm dragging? Don't let go and then drag it back. And then a special little pop-up menu pops up and I'm going to say copy here as values only. Now I'm going to change this to 11 slash 3, and this one better come up red. And there we go, conditional formatting uh, for seven days past due and a logical formula. Some people, sometimes people like to have that column filled with yes, we are uh, past due or not. You could also easily change this to an if. You could say that gives us a true or false, and what's beautiful about the if, there's the logical test, comma, value of true in quotes past due. That's the logic, that's the value to put in the cell if it's true. Otherwise, and I'm going to put a double quote just for blank. So then we got our due, past due or not. All right, uh, a little bit about seven days past due, logical formulas, conditional formatting, and the if function. See you next video.